Welcome to Sonderlings, integrating Troika's system. Let the bio ride begin. Hey folks, welcome back to Sonderlings. I'm Danny. Joining me as per the huge Carly, DB, and Jacob. And Hi. we're going to be doing more Hello. Troika things. Hola. Um, yeah, it's great. Last episode, you did a bunch of weird stuff at Bar Diddley's, got to talk to Tiffany, got to upgrade your ship a little bit, which is pretty cool. And uh, and then, let's see what else happened. Nimbus went and hung out with the Keek for a little while. Carly uh, panicked when Quith lost him. They were reunited shortly. Everybody got way too many items because I'm an open generous <laughs> GM, and we're going to fix I that. I mean, because... we have that storage space on the boat. Yeah, okay, absolutely. you know, we got to use it. <laughs> well, I'm Look, this is because... why... <laughs> yes? It's why we needed the ship upgrades, because we're out there like a like a suckling pig. We're going to get snatched up. We're going to get yeah. eaten. Roasted. We had to do that just to protect our stuff because we're on our way to Antiques Roadshow to, to get I, some stuff appraised. See, I feel like Danny's going to be like, and you would have gotten away from the Marauders, but your ship was laden down by all of these <laughs> items you have. You're too yeah. heavy. Well, I mean, if it makes the people at home feel any better, he did force us to bring these really sweet, uh, those of you at home that are listening and not watching, obviously, uh, don't see what I'm holding up, but these really cool manila envelopes that have a bunch of random backgrounds. None of us have seen them, and you can tell because he sealed the back so he couldn't <laughs> creep on what is inside. So I have a feeling he's going to try to murder us today. Let's see if we can survive. <laughs> so I don't even remember what those backgrounds are. Fun fact. like Yeah, it's, it's been it was so before we started like playing. That. Yeah. I hope yeah. Igor dies and I get another Chaos Champion. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. So speaking of death, uh, you're all... On the ship, and you see this, it's not a baby dragon, but it is not a full-grown dragon. And it is making a beeline towards your golden cell barge. So and... can you paint us a, a bit of a picture <laughs> of, what, of what this dragon, is it a normal dragon? Is it like a so, straight-up fantasy dragon? Or is there something really, is there extra disturbing parts so, about it that I should be aware This is the of. actual text from the book, which I read at the end of last oh, episode. Oh, okay, right, 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 yeah. Uh, Give us a Dragons refresher. are creatures of hyperlight, unburdened by base matter, able to soar across the dark sea of sky between worlds. Since their spirits are immortal and illuminated by the black suns, they may, and often do, indulge in base activities such as wanton slaughter, accumulating needless wealth, and plumbing the depths of forbidden knowledge. They do this because they know that nothing of these wicked spheres can harm them or their objective spiritual and physical perfection. So, I got too old <laughs> for the, the mean of this dragon, like the mood that it's in. Okay. And you'll all find right. that out in a minute. But it is making okay. a beeline <laughs> towards your golden sailed barge and... Is it swimming or flying? I don't know if that matters, but... It, uh, is. it is... Think like flying fish style. Okay, so a little bit of both. Okay. A little bit <laughs> More of both. Very cool. A little okay. bit of both. Uh, and... Does he think that we are hotline bling? <laughs> is that what he Probably sees? Probably not. Uh, okay. So oh, we're shiny enough, I'll tell you what. It's turn, and the dragon is flying directly towards your golden sailed barge for its okay. entire turn. You are now okay. officially in initiative. <laughs> Things oh are crazy. Oh uh, it is the dragon's turn again. Oh and it is getting oh, closer no. and closer to the barge. It's uh it's okay. okay. It it needs one more turn to actually get to the barge. And then on the turn after that, it can start enacting whatever plan it has. Okay. It is Nimbus's turn. Nimbus, the yeah. dragon, is one full movement away from you. And then on its next turn after that, it will be able to do things. What is Nimbus doing? Nimbus, um, can I run to the very front of the ship and do something? Like, is that... 
am I close enough to the I'd say that your bar prow is, is you were probably amidships, so you can make that movement up towards the bow and uh, and do something. What are you trying to do? Um, I'm gonna run to the very very front of the ship, uh, reach into my pocket, and pull out one of the cards for the versity and shout. Do you want to go to the university? <laughs> and education promises wealth. What if we're all told? And then I'm That's gonna turn I'm gonna works. turn the card where he can see the the dragon can see the front of it and say, Versity, the versity, higher you education. <laughs> Test your luck. It's like an old time speaker. You have to get you have to get half under your luck. To actually <laughs> engage with this thing in conversation, because full disclosure, I rolled the aggressive mean. Ooh. Oh, okay, so yeah. he's real grumpy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it could have been. Our, our ship looks like. What were you missing? Go ahead. Uh, so I rolled the aggressive mean. It could have been sleeping, playful, hungry, quizzical, <laughs> aggressive, or paranoid. So you kind of got the worst one. Yeah. <sighs> I like to Four think that nine. it just, it sees our ship from a distance and thinks it's some gold we stole and reformat it into a ship. He's like, come for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Nimbus, what did you get? I rolled a four and my luck is nine. <laughs> okay. So you, I hate you yes. so much right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that doesn't mean that you're going to stop what's happening, but it does no, mean that's fine. that it, it kind of s- slows up for a second and sees the card and just shakes its head. <laughs> and uh, you have arrested its movement, so you have a little bit longer till it gets to your ship. But it is still coming for you. That is your turn. <laughs> it is now Vigor's turn. Uh, so I shout over, Pond Pisser, come here. I have a job for you. And I walk over proudly, running to my ballista, <laughs> and I wave you over hurriedly. And as, um. I, <laughs> as I climb onto the top, I try to assume shape into a harpoon. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. We oh, forgot to buy shice, ammo. Shice, Man. Shice. We really did, oh my god. Oh ammo god. and saltines. We, I knew. We spent all of our money getting this thing for the ship, and we don't have the ammunition for it. You do. I had already thought about okay. that. that was you have Vigor. You have right Vigor. here. Okay. Be the okay. bullet. All right. all right, so I will. Or the pig. Let's hope do this doesn't go poorly. <laughs> I rolled a seven. My skill is six plus two. So that's seven of eight. I'm a harpoon, baby. Oh, yeah. That's you see me go in a, in a, like a, a poof of, uh, of smoke. <laughs> and as it, as, as it dissipates, you can see there's a harpoon <laughs> right there in the barrel of the uh, ballista. All right. So next up in the initiative is Nimbus. Nimbus, what are you doing? Nice. So tell me about casting spells. Like, I haven't done that yet. Anybody can cast spells? Oh, so yeah, wait. So, yeah, this is this yeah, this is a super cool part of Troika. So for those listening at home, at home uh, if you there's basically a, a spell list that's kind of been granted uh, to you if you just buy, like, the, the base book. You obviously can expand past it, but you can attempt any spell. It's just that if you're attempting any spell, the risk of messing your spell up or if you can't cast it is pretty high. If you roll, like, a, what is it, a, a critical failure, you have to roll on the oop table which has uh, some really yeah real disastrous effects but uh <laughs> you are just trying to roll under your base skill if you don't have the spell itself as an advance so, so what spell are you trying to cast nimbus i think i'm going to cast cockroach and try to turn it into a cockroach okay and keep in mind whatever the number is in parentheses next to the spell is the stamina cost regardless of whether or not it goes off it costs yep. that much stamina to be able to like Ooh. blood magic Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yay. So uh, you're going to do that. I need you twist. to go ahead and spend five stamina and okay. roll it. <laughs> it's so much. Yeah, it's really expensive. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. What'd you roll? I rolled. I rolled a two first, and then I rolled a six. So I'm over my 
base okay. skill so of five. So you're just over there trying to cast blood magic, okay. cutting yourself, so doing nothing, actually. Nimbus, <laughs> dance around in a circle, waving the card. I, I see Nimbus, like, summoning his inner <laughs> energy and getting really hyped up and then doing, like, this to turn this dragon into a cockroach and just absolutely nothing happens and you just look significantly weaker for having tried it. <laughs> um, Drain your just, chi. <laughs> I like yeah. do this big dance in a circle, throw my hands out, slip on the mop and just like, <laughs> I mean, dash my head on the railing. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it feels right. It absolutely. feels right. <laughs> uh, Quith, it's your turn. Okay, so um, I hesitated a bit. I was distracted trying to unpack some of these new items that I grabbed at the store. When Vigor first called for me, but I suddenly realize what's going on when I hear my other companion Nimbus slip, so I go ahead <laughs> and start rushing over towards my harpoon buddy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, you can um, make it there in, in one turn, and I will let you... So, fun fact, there's this cool if thing... If you miss, you do. you're going to send our Chaos Champion into the void. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So there's this cool thing that you can do in Troika where you can uh, take aim. Okay. Right? On your turn, you can decide to take aim with your ranged weapon. To do so, hold on to your initiative token. When your next initiative token is drawn, you may roll twice, pick the better roll. If the end of round token comes up and you haven't used your aim token, you may decide to hold on to it for the next round. I am going to take aim. Uh, normally... I would be ready to shoot right into that <laughs> danger. <laughs> but we all know I got a soft spot for my buddies. So I'm not just going to go shoot my harpoon friend out into the abyss. I'm sure he'd like it, but I wouldn't. So <laughs> I'm going to aim. Yeah. So you gonna... take aim and uh, yeah. I need you to go ahead and roll twice because you just came up again. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So Didn't take perfectly. me that long, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fast okay. aim. So mine is, I got a six, a four, and my skill is a five, so a 15. All right, what's your second roll? A 15 again, so I didn't even need to aim. <laughs> okay. So I got an 18. What? What? Oh, no. Yeah. Well, okay, so, so thematically, okay. thematically what I am doing. So Quith, wiping a bit of snot from her nose. <laughs> Ready's the harpoon. She's doing her best. She thinks she's got this lined up. But right as she was going to take this shot, she hears whispering in her ear <laughs> the voice of a very sad, forlorn toad. <laughs> it's it's drier than it looks out there. Don't miss. And right at that moment, <laughs> my finger slips. <laughs> and my buddy goes soaring past the dragon <laughs> into the abyss beyond. Okay. Um. Do you have swim, Vigor? Because I do. <laughs> so uh, that's the end of round token. And uh, and that's where we're going to leave our episode. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Word. Real short this week. Real short. <laughs> Real short and sweet. Enjoy Just your kidding. fifteen Just minute kidding. episode. Right now, Vigor is like since you are an entity, if your turn comes up before the dragon's turn, you will have a chance to react to this misstep, Vigor. Mm -hmm. uh, if your turn does not come up before the dragon's turn, then you're probably dead. Like, 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 I'm thinking that she, you know, got distracted. She fired the ballista at the wrong angle. And you can see me going soaring in the wrong direction. But I haven't passed the dragon yet. Exactly. So that's exactly what I'm talking I could poof into about. something else. That's a king, which is Vigor's card. Yes. Happy to see it. Man. Please don't die. That's <laughs> day. All right, Vigor, no. you better come up with something very creative as to why you're not going to just fly into the abyss and die. Turn into a net. Wait, can I give suggestions? <laughs> you know, I was thinking about doing oh, my I... classic kite maneuver. I've already got <laughs> momentum behind me, right? And the I fire's kite like... And then <laughs> roll it, yeah, sail the dragon, on over. The dragon's like... <laughs> <laughs>
Absolutely. You know, that is a dangerous thing. Um, Sorry, yeah. I'm helping you think through this, and you're a harpoon hurtling through the abyss. I need to shut up. <laughs> no, I... All I admit, all I envision... Spearheaded is... precision, I fly through the air and see my target, but I fly no closer toward it. I fly into the abyss away from it and thinking quick on my feet, knowing Click Clack would be proud if I slayed such a mighty beast. <laughs> I turn myself into a kite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But it might not go so well because I rolled a 10 on a skill of eight. So I didn't make it. So you turn no, into you a don't. kite so shape, just turn into, but the material... No, you, you, you lose assumed shape at that point. You would just mm -hmm. be Vigor. Flopping about. <laughs> Flopping around. Uh, I say, as it hurts to go from one shape to another, my so bones and cartilage... the dragon that basically has seen this harpoon flung at him or her, <laughs> I don't know, at it, at them. Um, the dragon has seen this harpoon come flying towards them, obviously going to miss them. And then all of a sudden the harpoon turns into a chaos champion and the dragon kind of goes, huh? And, uh, <laughs> and is just going to just turn around and bite you. That's a mistake on the dragon's part. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right. So, the scene uh, from Rain of Fire. so we're going to roll versus Vigor. Mm-hmm. I got a 10 plus... Am I doing mall fighting? Because uh, that's what I want to be doing. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, I, I got a 19. Yeah, you actually beat this dragon. Yeah, I do. I ended it's up the with mall. A, with a 12. <laughs> um, so you get to roll damage? <laughs> what? So confused. I Have really we... like this is happening. Have we, I can, have we I all can seen? tell you. I bet that this is literally like you shoved your maul in its mouth and then its little dragon teeth can't quite crush that chaotic maul. It's having a problem. <laughs> Breaking some teethies over there. <laughs> Vigor, what did you roll have for we... damage? I got a... It's just 1d6, right? 1d6. I rolled a six. Yeah. You rolled a six? Uh, I did. <laughs> you do 13 <laughs> damage to this thing? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> All right. What? So this thing, I, I assume you said it was trying to bite me, and it's got this long yeah. serpentine neck, and it's flying through the air towards me. Its neck is, and its maw is chomping. And as it comes, I, because I'm floating, I actually do a, a tricky maneuver, and it's it's counterbalanced with my the hammerhead. And so I throw the hammerhead, and I begin twirling as if I, you know, created momentum in space, <laughs> like floating in zero yeah, gravity. I sure. use the hammerhead to twirl to get out of the way. And as its maw snaps at the spot I was just at, I'm actually coming upside down and I hit the bottom of its jaw with my hammerhead. Bop! I love to see it. Nice. Love to see it. Brilliant. And then I, I, it. I swear at it in Kurgan. <laughs> <laughs> You're so a little you... lizard. <laughs> you bop it for 13 damage. <laughs> and uh, it's the dragon's turn again, and it is at the barge. Um, and fun fact, it's going to douse Nimbus and Quip in dragon fire. Nice. Oh. Good thing I'm moist. <laughs> so, everyone in the area is automatically hit, but you may, if you would like to, you may test your luck to reduce the damage roll by one. Okay, we got a six versus a twelve, so yes. Good. Did you win your luck test, Nimbus? <laughs> I did. Okay, so you take eight damage. What's your okay. uh that's a total of thirteen damage that you've taken this fight because you tried to cast yeah. cockroach and failed. <laughs> so I'm down <laughs> oh I'm down I'm down to nine. You might wanna you might wanna eat a ration roll to shove a grill apart. Uh, it's my life. Dragon's turn. <laughs> As short as it is. <laughs> and uh, the dragon is going to go ahead and try to take a snap at Vigor. You did definitely is... muddy my plans a little bit by not being on the barge with everybody else, Vigor. So, congratulations. What are you... Chaos, baby. What are you doing now, Vigor? Because the dragon turns from you to blow fire at the ship. So, are you, like, hanging by a tooth or something out there in 
Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to cat, catch one of its wings that like ex extends and retracts, flapping. And I'm trying to grab it because I want to. I want to grapple. I want to climb so on its back. It's kind of like gone for the barge and then looped back really quick. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, we're rolling verses. I got a ten plus nine. I got a nineteen. Wow. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> he a strong man. You and strong. Yet again, beating this dragon. So roll damage. Dude. All right. If this is a six, I'm gonna lose it, dude. <laughs> it's a three. It's a three. Okay. So, all right. So you do three shape? damage. So it is Vigor's turn. Oh my god. All right. Um. So I want to. I want to. I, I need to be able to ride this dragon in order to consistently bash it. Um. So is there, can I so it's already know, grab it a, a, right a there? Okay. You can do, basically your action can be grab onto it and try to ride it, which I will do as a skill check, or you can just try to attack it again, but you won't be grabbing onto it because your maul does require both hands to wield. So right, just right. making that point clear, like you can't like grab it and swing with your maul. Right, right. I want to I want to grab onto it and then climb onto like the small of its back between its shoulder blades so that it can't bite Have me. Have you looked at the dragon in the book? No. Oh. Take a look at that, you're saying? It doesn't have a, a, a small of its anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. a firm. So for reference, for those of you who are watching this on video, this oh. is the picture he is talking about. Yes. Um, for those of you who are at home uh, just listening to this, I don't even know how to describe what this looks You'll like. You'll have to Google it. <laughs> just, to, there's no way. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, like a bit of a cacogen made into a dragon, maybe. So real mutated okay. and a bunch of shapes. And there's a lot of stuff to grab. So, Vigor, what are you thinking? Yes. All right. So... What I know is that orbs are precious things. Breaking orbs is important. And I see an <laughs> orb on this dragon. So my goal is to latch onto it, climb it in such a way as to get to that top left orb, and smash it. I mean, I will let you perform a either grapple or skill check to try to grab on to this dragon. Let's do it. Uh, you're not going to be able to try to smash the orb this turn. No, no. I'm just telling you my, my future plans. Yeah. I got my eyes set on something. So you're rolling versus um, this Dagron. Oof. This? It got a 17. So I got a 10 total. So 10 total? All right, mm -hmm. so... Uh, I believe it's now officially grappling you. Mm. Just where grappling. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice and close. It always thinks it has the upper hand, but little does it know. Please let me go next. All right, so <laughs> it's grappling you. Uh, it won. So it's going to go ahead and deal damage as unarmed. I'll probably mm. die. <laughs> <laughs> the thing you don't know about Vigor is he's got almost no health. So <laughs> he only did two damage to you, Vigor. Wow, oh, dude. Wow. Okay. All right. cool. Yeah, damage as an arm isn't great. But fun fact, it's the dragon's turn. I was about to say, Nimbus goes down into his room to take a nap because Vigor apparently's got this got this crab. So the of. dragon. Right. Now... He sees a few hits and he's like, he's fine. <laughs> oh yeah. The dragon is now uh, attacking you, Vigor. 16. Uh, I got an 18. Damn. So the dragon gets 18 rolls. do damage as a large beast. Uh, you Tickle take me damage. to death. <sighs> wait, are you uh, dead? That's it. Yeah. Wait, wait. I have 14 total. Wait. Two for my first spell, two for my second, bringing me to 10. I just took two, bringing me to eight. Ten more would bring me to negative two. Okay. Wow. So now we get to discuss 
the super fun <laughs> thing that is what happens when you die. So, so wait, so before before you dive into this, I would just like to say, for those of you listening at home who are wondering, besides obviously the initiative stack not being in my favor, why Quith would plunge her friend into the water and then do nothing to help him, she has been rummaging through her book to look for that book, What to Expect When You're Expecting Death. Uh, and <laughs> unfortunately, she didn't grab it quite in time. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, here's what's going to happen. Uh, Vigor, you are chewed up by this dragon. You are dead. Uh, you are spat <laughs> up on the deck of the Golden Barge unceremoniously. Your crumpled <laughs> remains next to your compatriots. Uh, and there is a light beeping sound in the background as we shift over to that's Nimbus's turn. <laughs> Wicked. Um, gosh, I'm really having a I'm having a problem because I can't decide whether to attack the dragon for killing my friend or immediately start giving Vigor CPR. <laughs> attack the dragon. Okay, I'll, I'll put it all right. Way. Vigor Fine. is. Very obviously past CPR. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the joke. <laughs> he looks as bent and broken as that dragon's body in the Rescue image. breath. Where's his <laughs> mouth? <laughs> okay, so I um, I do have my worm mitts on. Okay. And I'm not going to dig for anything else, but I definitely want to. Uh, is this? Is the, can I can I lay hands on this dragon? Yeah, the dragon is, it close has, enough? is it, it's like over the side of the barge. It is just unceremoniously spat up Vigor on the deck. So you could take a quick hop over there and throw hands. I'm gonna throw hands on this dragon. I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, wrestling. Okay, we're gonna roll verses. Thirteen. What did you get for your roll? I got a four and a two. So you got a six. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I got an 18. Okay. Uh, Big but dragon. technically, we're doing damage as unarmed because you were trying to wrestle, right? So I do three damage to you. I feel like I just like, instead of trying to grapple it, I changed my mind at the last minute and decided just to punch it, and it, yeah. it did nothing. The dragon's like, yeah. smack. So, okay, yeah, so three damage. Three damage as this okay. dragon just kind of knocks you to the side and <laughs> cut to Quith. Uh-oh. So, I am actively, I've dropped to my knees. Um... My bag is thrown beside me. I am I have rushed to Vigor's side and I am beginning to sob openly on the deck of this ship. Uh, and with a quick turn of my head and a flash of rage, I turn to this dragon and my my flood of tears begins to glow. And I say not in mama's house, honey. You ain't taking my boys. <laughs> and all of my tears coalesce together, and I cast Drown on this dragon. Because I bet Ew. this dragon has lungs, and it's going down. <laughs> okay. All right. I got a six, and I have a total skill in Drown of eight. Wow. So it goes up. Read the exact uh, without a hitch. text for Drown. Happily, happily, the full text for Drown. So, uh, for a visual, all of these tiers have coalesced and formed a water stream that is now rushing straight towards this dragon's mouth, stopping any residual flames and maybe trying to shoot at us. And it causes a target's lungs to fill fully with water. They must test their luck or skill for enemies. If they fail, they start to drown and are incapacitated as water pours from their mouth. They may test once. Uh, they may test again once per turn until they pass. At which point the spell ends. Not in Mama's house. <laughs> 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 so, 
So I have some unfortunate news for you. Oh no, can I not drown dragons? <laughs> you remember that description I read where I said dragons are creatures of hyperlight unburdened by base matter? Oh. Yeah. That includes drowning? <laughs> it is now, it's longer full of water. That's some pretty base matter. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know God. how to call this one. I, if we can ride it and it can bite us, I feel like. Okay, yeah, we have already established canonically that it can be grappled and written, ridden. Okay, so it's going to test its luck on its turn, which is next. We can say that it uh, it gets less corporeal as it gets older, or corporeal, so it's like yeah, I think a younger the dragon. Yeah, is still bound by some matter. Right, right. Yeah, I like this. All right. I mean, you also got to realize, you know, there is some magic imbued. I shot tears down its throat. Maybe right. it died from sadness. Imbued it with uh, my depression. <laughs> maybe, right. maybe the more it interacts with the material world, the more material it becomes. Ooh. Possibly. I mean, you can also I'm just gonna... tell me that I have to take four damage for this spell and it doesn't <laughs> go off. This is also fine. I can, I can try something else on my next turn if we don't all die, but you know. <laughs> All right, so we had to take a second to get a table ruling because dragons are complicated creatures. Um, <laughs> so uh, Quith fires this stream of her tears at the dragon. <laughs> and while the dragon isn't going to drown, uh, it is going to have to test its skill this round to see if it's able to act on its turn, like on its next turn. But you have quenched the dragon fire inside it, at least for the time being. Maybe not permanently, but it will not be able to use its dragon fire anymore for this fight, which is really nice news for you. That's <laughs> and me. Especially for that four stamina it cost me, because I am bleeding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel so, like Pith sees this stream of stream of tears shooting off of your face, and he's like, same fam. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somewhere in the distance, Pith whispers, you're so dry, girl. Get some water. <laughs> so it is incapacitated as a result of these, the, the tears just saturating it. It can't use its breath weapon. <laughs> it's too moist. <laughs> it is way too moist, and... It's still incapacitated. It didn't pass that check. So cool. it's its turn again. It didn't pass again. <laughs> so is this is this is this one of those situations like have you ever seen Avatar the Last Airbender? Yes. Where it's like he gets in he encases himself in ice. Is this like the dragon is like fully like the longer it's struggling against this stream, like this orb of water is just like encasing it. It's trying to struggle to break out of one of the edges. I like to think because it literally says that it's filling the mouth. I like to think yeah. of it as there's just like that orb and it's shooting a stream into this dragon's mouth. And the yeah. dragon like can't can't seem to avoid it. Like the orb just follows it around and continues to like, like try to waterboard squirted. the dragon. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, it is now Nimbus's turn. Yes. Oh wait, can I go? <laughs> I don't think it's way this works. Uh, I lay there. Okay. Well, Nimbus, what are you doing? Um, it's kind of like when you're running the race, like a kid's got a race car controller, he doesn't really know what to do with it, and the race car just keeps on hitting the wall. That's what Nimbus is gonna do. So he got knocked down, and he's gonna <laughs> pop up, and he's gonna right back into wrestle. Okay, cool. Roll he's up. got it this time. Round two. Oh my snake eyes. <laughs> yeah where's my freaking chart so that means that i rolled a nine no you rolled snake eyes <laughs> that's an automatic failure yep you uh, rolled a fumble baby <laughs> a fumble <laughs> uh it does two damage to you as unarmed okay this is slow burn i'm down to absolutely fo beat that it's just flouncing around, and I jump up, and I'm like gonna go after it, and oh, something wait, no, just hits doesn't. me because it's flouncing around. Because it's still technically but... incapacitated, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, word! You actually just won that because it's incapacitated. It can't. It can't I don't. Back. 
I don't think that I can win it with a. I think if I rolled and it's a fail, no, I it's mean, a fail. If you rolled snake eyes, it's an automatic fail. But like, if right. you had had a one and a two, you would have won it. Yeah. Yeah. You still so, fumble, but I don't think you're. Yeah. That's dumb. Ever in response. So yeah, like I jump up and then it's flouncing around and like its tail hits me and just knocks me right back down. <laughs> so it's the dragon's turn. It fails getting out. Dragon's turn. Fails getting out. Dragon's turn. Ah, this water. You're kidding. It is free. <laughs> How many turns did that dragon just have in a row? Oh my gosh. Well, that also means it doesn't have many turns for the rest of the round. No, I love it. I'm really happy, yeah. but like that was a lot of turns. I feel like if we had not incapacitated that dragon, it would have destroyed all three of us immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so it is now up oh my to gosh. Vigor's turn in initiative. Uh, Vigor, you are coalescing. The the primordial goo that makes <laughs> up Vigor is coalescing into the form of a red priest. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the red priest? Yeah, so... So Troika tells us that I am an evangelist of the Red Redemption, wandering confessor, cauterizer of the festering wound of sin, which is the constant accumulation and recreational consumption of mass. How can your spirit fly free while well, shackled and flabby? I have red robes, a traditional faceless metal helmet of your order, I have a symbolic but fully sized and fully functional single-headed great axe. Uh, it acts as a great sword. I've got some spells, including ember, firebolt, flash, and exorcism. That's so. Amazing. I love that I, it almost seems like this dragon that killed you left a little touch behind. You got some, <laughs> you got some ember, some firebolt. Say, you got some weapons that aren't going to yeah, help you much against him. <laughs> right? You're a little obsessed with uh, no longer having an actual form and maybe being a being of light. I feel like I'm seeing some connections here. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, so you have... Mm. Hello, mustache hair in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, reformed into a red priest and that is a direct result of the matte pre matter printing device that you all wear clipped to your belt oh that's uh, what that stands for <laughs> yeah so it is okay. a device the size of a rectangular kiwi uh we'll be uploading a beautiful <laughs> illustration done by my buddy matthew nevers to our instagram yeah. as this episode goes out and this thing scans the neural webbing of the current wearer and, in the event of biological expiration, will fashion them a new body randomly chosen from its databank of 36 currently available patterns. There are rumors of users <laughs> performing extra-legal modifications to their unit, allowing them to pre-select their next form. But these rumors are unsubstantiated, and such an act would be prosecuted diligently by the Skent Aggregation's legal hive. The Skent Aggregation, producer of matte pre-matter printing devices, in no way guarantees retention of memories, knowledge, skills, <laughs> and or personality, nor are they liable for any subsequent damages, either physical, emotional, or metaphysical, to the user. Use of the matte pre-device okay. constitutes a binding agreement to these terms by the user. <laughs> so, we're going to see what all that means shortly. Uh, that's your turn, Vigor. You are currently coalescing out of goo, so it's going to take you a second. Really glad we read the fine print on those before we just hooked them to our hips. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I literally read all of that in, I think it was like the first episode. Uh, yeah. yeah. Vigor didn't listen and didn't care <laughs> yeah, about scratching some not. paper with ink. Yeah. We're just lucky Nimbus so. hasn't thrown his at the dragon yet, so. Right. Uh, speaking <laughs> of Traded Nimbus, it away. it is your turn, Nimbus. Is it really? Okay, awesome. So Nimbus puts two and two together. He's like, creature of hyperlight, I'm casting darkness. Okay. So he's going to cast darkness. It um, is going to cost me half of my life. Okay. Remaining life, which is three. Uh, Are any of us going to make it out of this? I don't know. I don't. I hope not. I'm, I'm jealous. I've got I two more. I want to die. Okay. 
All I right. Feel like so I may have made the mistake of making death fun for all of you. <laughs> so, <laughs> like you're just all actively going to throw yourself into the chaos and try to die now. Listen, part of the glory of Troika is that death is supposed to be common. Um, and very likely. So we better find a way to enjoy it, okay? Because yeah. <laughs> I feel like this isn't going to be the first time. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so I just, what'd you get? I just made up for those snake eyes. I rolled a double six. And that's just plus skill? No, that's, uh, that's a roll on the oops table, my friend. Oh, no. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it the is. worst of Our tables. Our first roll on this the This is the first oops table. Just... table. This is a oh, this is an episode of so first, isn't this is, it? This is such a good episode. Um, <laughs> Nimbus should have stayed out of that spell stuff. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm actively searching for the oops table. Is it one of the ones in the front of the book? It's in the very back. It's I'm already like on it. So you got to roll a d6 table. times 10 plus d6. <laughs> yeah, so roll a, a what? d66. So roll one d6. Yeah. And that'll be uh -huh. the first of your two-digit number. Okay, 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 I gotcha. And then a second for your single digit. I can't believe I'm having to roll the oops table right now. <laughs> I just rolled a three, I, and I've got nerves. I'm like, here we go. I really hope you become <laughs> a pig so we one. can break out that ham radio. <laughs> oh. A four. You got a 34. 34. Your hands find a mind of their own and take a severe disliking to the tyranny of control. <laughs> They set about choking you, <laughs> only to lapse back into servitude as soon as you pass out. Uh, Oops. So, you have officially passed out, which means that if somebody doesn't revive you by your next turn, you will be dead. And we're going to go through this whole new character thing again. <laughs> uh, that being said, it is aptly Quith's turn. So let me just let me just take a second. <laughs> of what's happening? So, dragon spits Vigor up on the deck, <laughs> crumpled mess of bones. Vigor right. basically turns into this primordial goo and starts recoalescing and is now reforming in what you would know of as a red priest. And as this is happening, Nimbus decides to cast a spell at the dragon and immediately just starts choking himself like this <laughs> uh, and has passed out. And now it's your turn. Okay, all right. Isn't so, it lovely? And the dragon is spitting up water. That's a, that's a word water. for is what still... is happening. <laughs> lovely. Yeah. So uh, looking around at the scene before me, <laughs> wiping the last tears from my eye. <laughs> I notice one of my companions is at least a person. I don't know who they are. And my other companion is quickly approaching the same fate. The dragon, uh, is it still pouring water out of its mouth? It's just uh, taking a seat. It's like, what it's is still going on? It's water out of its mouth. Like, you can tell that the fire is okay. not happening, but it's not actively drowning any, anymore. Okay, all right. So, yeah. in general, this, this scene is looking not great. Um... Quith is sitting there with 12 damage out of 19. Yeah. Uh, and she, in a fit of despair, reaches into the bag next to her and pulls out one granola bar. <laughs> <laughs> that and just sense. mumbles to sense. herself <laughs> as she takes a bite. At least I won't die hungry. <laughs> <laughs> And I roll a d6 to see how much I regain. I got a four. Okay. <laughs> so you gained some uh, some of your stamina back. Yep. Just, <laughs> like mumbling to yourself and munching on this granola bar. Above um, me, Pith is looking down very upset and just goes, Listen here. This is why we never get anything done. <laughs> and he smacks me with his little tongue <laughs> across the side. A couple granola pieces fly from my mouth. And I look up really grumpy. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> One of my wounds begins to heal a little bit. <laughs> it is the dragon's turn. Uh, the dragon is... They can't use their breath weapon. <laughs> They're... This is just... <laughs> What is happening in my life currently? <laughs> uh, this is Troika, buddy. Troika's happening. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Troika's <laughs> happening. Um, this is absurd. This is inane. Yeah, this is absolute absurdity. So the dragon is just going to attack the only person that isn't either dying or <laughs> regenerating? I don't know. Uh, the dragon is attacking you, Quith. I assumed as much, hence the bar. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Um, so we're rolling versus. Okay. Um, I'm adding my skill to this, correct? Yes. Okay, so I rolled a real lowly four. Uh, <laughs> skill of five. So, real solid nine. Uh, <laughs> I, I rolled two sixes, so I got a mighty blow. Listen, wow. I said I wouldn't die hungry, okay? <laughs> I yeah. So, yeah, uh, Quith, um, the dragon just munches on you. And, okay. uh, you Am I are, dead? What's the damage? You are, you are, well, I can roll damage. Yeah. You weren't even going to roll damage. You're just you like, sorry. You kill mighty me. blows are pretty, pretty legit. Um, yeah, what's the mighty blow roll again? Uh, roll of double sixes while attacking, double damage. Oh, okay. You take 16 damage. <laughs> Which would be most of my health. Unfortunately, that granola bar was not supercharged. Um, it was off-brand. It was, you know. yeah. having, having expelled the last of my moisture to try to save my boys and having failed... Uh, <laughs> I'm choking myself and you're eating a granola bar. And then Let's pulling talk about a granola bar boys. out and accidentally luring in that dragon because I looked extra tasty with food in my hand. Uh, she drops to the ground in a crumpled mess. Pieces of granola bar rolling to the side. And I will crack myself a new character. <laughs> wow, that was it? Yeah, I Even had... after the granola bar? I yeah, had eight health right, after uh... the granola bar. Nimbus, it has come back around to your turn. Time for you to okay. crack a new character sheet as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Vigor, uh, hopefully it gets to your... It is your turn next. Perfect. Uh, Vigor, right. I need you to test your luck at the front end of your turn. I got eight on an eight. Okay, so, there we so go. you succeed. So what That's we're done. doing, uh, since we are kind of carrying over personality traits and some of the knowledge into a new character, I decided to let players test their luck when they get a new background. And if they succeed, they get to basically have one advanced skill point from any of their previous skills carry over to their new character. So, Vigor, which skill did you choose? Uh, and there's just going to be one rank in that, no matter what I choose, yes. right? I was a big fan of Assume Shape as a spell, so I'm going to do that. I feel like that's a fantastic idea. Uh, you have Assume Shape, and it's your turn. This dragon is looming right atop the golden barge, and you're so welcome to do what you would like. So in my head, it plays out like this. I've finished forming After the, the last bits of you've just been through. coalescing goo. I've crawled back up, formed in place, and kind of like a Terminator movie, the goo has solidified and formed into um, into my 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 form. And I have my flowing red robes that are obviously flowing in the wind. My mask is there. It is unmoving and unflinching in the face of danger. It is steel, and the, the flickering flames on the deck of the ship glint against my mask. <laughs> and I pull out this um, giant, uh, what do I have now? It, it acts axe. as a, yes, a giant axe, a great axe, a pole axe. And yeah. I pull it out and stand there, and I point the head of it at the dragon. and. In a Vigor-like voice, I say, I am reborn, tempered by the flame, like Gando the Great. <laughs> I have returned, and with it, my fury. 
<laughs> I cough because it's smoky. <laughs> that voice is tough. Yeah. Um, now you know now my pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I reach, I reach out a hand as I bring it from my side. Flames, for I had met the belly of this dragon, and in it, its eternal flame. So I've been touched by this flame, and I've harnessed its abilities, <coughs> and I cast a spell. As you choke. Uh, Firebolt. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to die. I'm <laughs> on myself. <laughs> this is what happens when the embers of a dragon uh, enter your belly. It's so hard to change character. Um, yeah. So I cast. That Matt Pre does a number, huh? Dude, it yeah. really does. It, well, it didn't quite get the lungs first. You know, it's like the floor oh, yeah, was yeah. last. Takes a little uh, bit. Gotcha. So I, I cast Firebolt. And as I okay. reach out a pointed finger, um, I shoot an impressive flame from my fingertip. So I rolled a seven and I got, uh, I have a skill of eight, two plus six. Okay. So I did it, but I'm going to take one damage. And then I roll on the firebolt damage table, and up. I roll. So you can just roll one d six. A four. You so got that's seven, seven damage. damage. Awesome. Uh, this thing is looking hurt. It's not excited about what you've done to it. Uh, <laughs> it's it's frankly upset with you. It's a little it's a little salty, and it is the dragon's turn. And it is going to attempt to use its breath weapon, dragon fire. Uh, I don't... So I, I gave this a good thought, and I don't think... Oh, huh, look, Quith is eating another granola bar. Um, <laughs> Listen, it won't save me, but it's, it's definitely satisfying. <laughs> really? uh, I don't think that the dragon would know that it can't use this. And since it's a new round, I think it's only fair that it tries. And so it tries, and it can't use it, and that's its turn. But it gets another turn, and <laughs> it's going to immediately attack Vigor. Roll versus. So in theory, what happens if we die twice? <laughs> that's why you have that third character. Um, I got a 16. <laughs> I rolled snake eyes. Ooh. That's what's up. All right. Yeah. So a fumble means that I get to roll ideal damage to you, and I roll one equivalent higher on the damage chart. Yes. So if you've got the damage chart up, I rolled a four, which would be a five. Uh, as a great sword? A great mm -hmm. axe, I believe. Well, it, you said it does damage as a great sword, right? Yeah, it's a great yes, sword. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. so you do 12 damage to this dragon, <laughs> and uh, you reel back, and you completely decapitate it. You have wow. ended the dragon. I, I stand over it. And I say, thank you for what you have taught me. I had fire in my soul, but now it has purpose. And I slam my greatsword into it, and I twist it. Nice. Wow. So you're victorious against this dragon. Uh, not without some ramifications, though, because <laughs> you're all new characters. Um, so. Technically, it happened to Nimbus first. So, Nimbus, what are you coalescing into now? <laughs> it happened to Quith first. I was choking myself, but I wasn't dead. Oh, that's, that's true. true. But I can, I, I can first. go first. All right, Quith. You want to hear my new character? All right, so I rolled. Well, I didn't roll. I cracked a pack <laughs> that contained a Yungardi lawyer. Uh, for those of wow. you at home who have the book, uh, it is on page 37 of character creation. Um, number 65, a Yungardi lawyer. So the description in the Troika book reads, Down in Yungardi, they do things differently. They respect the law. 
Every day there is a queue outside the courts to get a seat to see the latest up-and-coming barrister defend their case with a meter of steel. The people follow the careers of their favorite solicitors, watch all their cases, collect their portraits, and sneak into the courts after hours to dab the patches of blood on white handkerchiefs. In Yungardi, they love the law. Um, I have, as my possessions... So much. <laughs> so yeah. good. As my possessions, um, I have chosen to take... You did roll me a rapier, but I assume that I get to choose because there is a selection in the Yungardi lawyer of you which do. item you want. I am taking a... Shambok? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but uh, it does damage as a club, and it is a heavy leather whip. Uh, I looked it up in advance oh. because I didn't know what that was. Wow. <laughs> so for those of you curious, I am now carrying a heavy leather whip, and I have a lot of scars. <laughs> so all over my face, lots of scars. Um, I also have a manual on Yungardi Law, <laughs> so we'll see how useful that is, and a barrister's wig. Um, I am specifically skilled in fighting with my Shambok. Um, I have a two in etiquette, and I also have some ability to heal, which is kind of nice. nice. A little yeah. on brand, one might this say. This is also perfect because you were the one that, like, did the deep dive into Yungardi lawyers. Specifically, yeah. started playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. for those of you at home who haven't actually played Troika and are really just listening along to see kind of what this game might be like, I do highly suggest um, part of the fun of this game is that they don't really give you all the information. So you can take what you want, you can do what you want with it, you can just do inspiration. And Young Guardi Lawyers was one of those that I actively was like, there is so much in such a little spot. Like, this it would take a bunch of work. So of all of us, I'm glad that I'm the one that grabbed it because I, oh, yeah. I did do a little bit of pre-research. So we'll see how we'll see how this goes. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, and yeah. uh, Nimbus, what are you? I, uh, I got Thaumaturge. It says, uh, Wandering miracle workers, the depths of whose clothes are filled with pouches of unguents, holy icons, and herbs. No matter the metaphysical need, you are always prepared. I have my Thaumaturgic Fez on, which I'm super stoked about. Yes. Um, I have a That's staff cool. bedecked with charms and bells. May re-roll one die on the oops table if using this staff. However, may never sneak up on anyone because of the ringing and clattering that it makes. <laughs> I love that. I love that you were the only character to roll yep. on the oops table, and you get the character yeah. and can fix that later. Yeah, I good. also have curled shoes and vol voluminous... Voluminous? voluminous i can't say that word voluminous thank you i'm <laughs> yeah. just like trying to read it it's in italian it's hard with a new body you know to say <laughs> yeah. i have yeah, some stuff too you. It, it just didn't work i've got right. some clothes it starts with a v yeah um yeah <laughs> <laughs> voluminous robes voluminous robes so yeah very uh very nimbus i've got um <laughs> yeah a bunch of spells and then my special is I may test you may test your luck to just so happen to have exactly the in parentheses common mystic tchotchke bobble or guga the situation <laughs> requires. <laughs> cool. That's amazing. Uh, what's yeah, that'll like be that? fun. I have undo, assume shape, thunder, random, brittle twigs, random, second sight, and astrology. Oh, wow. You're going to get two random spells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Sweet. That's fine. So that's going to be your homework for next episode. Word. Oh, man. Well, uh, I think that's where we're going to need to call it for the episode. Uh, that, I feel like that's a good point. <laughs> we can figure out what happens <laughs> next in the next episode. I don't know. So at this point, just to make it clear, two of us have just reformed into new bodies. The dragon is still dribbling at the mouth a little. All and three of uh, you reformed. well, yeah. Vigor is fully reformed, uh, oh, yes. and in a full re red priestess. The other two of us are still kind of just getting our bearings, but coping. we are all still sitting in a pseudo combat like environment, uh, massively confused. That feels like a good place to end a Troika mm -hmm. session, <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I love it. I'm s very yeah. lovely. I'm, I'm super, super excited that I actually have to redraw all of us now. Yeah. yeah, for our for the yeah for, for those of you at screen. home who don't actually know our opening screen of Mr. Art obviously is drawn by our own Jacob. 
Swanson. So I'm excited to see what you end up doing with our three new <laughs> characters. Yeah, you've got to draw everybody brand new at once. <laughs> Nice. I, like, I, full yeah. disclosure, I came into this episode knowing that one of you was going to die. I knew I was throwing yeah. a big beastie at you. I did not think it was going to be three for three. Uh, I was kind of hoping to avoid a TPK or a total party kill, but oops. Hey. I'm excited. Listen, you're not we... the only one that rolled no. on the oops table tonight, okay? Yep. I was going to say, I got to roll on the oops table. I feel special. I feel like you should. in a couple months of gameplay, we're going to be like, that oops table is the worst thing to happen to RPGs <laughs> ever. I don't know. I don't think we're ever going to get tired of it. I think it's fun. No. I think so, too. Love it. Let's go ahead and get into our inspiration. I mean, that was a crazy session, but we probably need to wrap it at some point. Um, yeah. Who is interested in kicking us off tonight? I'll share. Yeah. Okay. Get beat, yeah. Get he did, he did. Yeah. Um, well, I you know I died first, so I should share my inspiration. <laughs> that feels that's, right. That feels right. That feels absolutely um, right. So for you know our listeners, obviously, if you're listening without video, and you like podcasts. You probably also like audiobooks. I am a hmm. big fan, separately, of A Song of Ice and Fire. I really like George R. R. Martin. There's a particular audiobook that is narrated by a man named. Graham Malcolm, and it is part of the Dunk and Egg series. Uh, so that is Sir Duncan and Aegon V. Uh, the book is called The Sworn Sword, and uh, Graham Malcolm is a wonderful narrator. I feel like he is a real inspiration for uh, role playing for me. I, I've listened to that particular uh, narration of his a whole bunch. He can really get into characters and go back and forth very quickly, but I feel like his inflections and everything. One of the characters is an old knight who's washed up. Who's who's uh, his name is Sir Eustace, uh, <laughs> and uh, one of one of the uh, kind of villainous characters in the story calls him Sir Useless. Um, but <laughs> Sir Eustace is uh, wonderful. He really got the broken. Um, like shell of a man who has like who's stalwart and very proud but broken ah just excellent so if you're looking for an audiobook uh, to listen to you can actually find this on youtube um for free oh, nice. so you don't have to go through like audible or anything but it is really really great that the story itself is a perfect like start to finish it has uh comes like kind of full circle in the normal george r, r. martin way um, the characters are, are really great. You also learn stuff about the, um, like living in that time period. And I, I feel like there's a lot of like historic, historical accuracies in it and stuff. So nice. it's really great. So check it out. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Carly, Carly. So, so uh, I'm going to plug a board game, board game, this, game week. this week. Um, I actually traveled, I actually last, traveled week down, last week down to South Carolina, South Carolina to visit, to visit, our, to visit our, our game master Danny, Danny who introduced who me introduced to, to Set a Watch, which is a game, which is a game by, Todd by Todd Walsh. It's one of those it's really fantastic, really fantastic kind, of kind of all in one boxes, boxes that you can definitely, you can definitely like pack in a backpack and it's not very large, but definitely still like a full board game. The general idea behind it is kind of, you know, when you're part of a typical adventure in like a D&D or fantasy setting, is taking your evening rest. Rest. Typically, you Typically have you know, have, a person, you know, a person that, that is on watch, on the watch, and the sleeping. sleeping. This game kind of turns on its head in a way that I think actually makes way more sense in a game playing game kind of scenario, scenario, kind of scenario where you only have you only one have person, one person at actually camp, actually camp, resting, actually resting firewood, firewood, basically like prepping, basically stuff, prepping stuff, and the other and three the other are actually on watch, regularly dealing with a horde of creatures that are trying to descend upon the camp and kill everybody. And it's it's just a really fun game that you're playing. You're playing collaboratively with other players at the table. You can play as a two-person game, and those are very Hard to very find, hard to find. High quality, high very quality, in my opinion. In my opinion. Um, and I feel like it really, like scratches, it really the scratches the edge. When you were, like, like last week, we had to do a recording stop because I was traveling. I was traveling. Um, and it, um, it really and scratches, it really the, scratches edge the edge. When you're like, I want to play a D&D session. I want to play something like Troika, but I don't have the time. 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 I don't have the people together. And you've got maybe some people around who aren't as willing to deep dive as people who are willing to play an RPG session. It still definitely feels like you're in a role-playing game. But it's quicker. But it's quicker. And it's really, really, really consolidated into a very small case. So check it out. Check it out. Um, um, Danny had actually Danny had actually in the Kickstarter, Kickstarter edition, edition, but you can, edition, but you can, you can still find just the Kickstarter and Kickstarter out there. Out there, made by Todd made Walsh. Made by Todd Walsh. It's a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal game. game. Um, so that's my um, main so recommendation, that's my recommendation for, this for this week. Heck yes. Heck yes. Uh, Jacob. Uh, Jacob. 
Uh, I'm not uh, muted. I'm not muted. Okay, okay, good. Okay, good. Um, um, I am going I to am shout going out. To I, shout don't out. I don't I've think I've already called out Bottling Sunshine. Bottling sunshine. I might have. I might have. So if I'm, so if I'm, if I'm repeating it. I'm repeating it. Uh, uh, they, they, I did. Um, I did. Um, I did a, a draw this in your style. In your style um, um, for them. For that them. That posted that posted on my. On my my own Instagram. My own Instagram but but they have a they really, have a really, really unique, unique style. And that's style bottling, and sunshine, bottling sunshine, no, sunshine, no spaces or spaces anything like, or that. Anything like um, that. Um, spelled like it, it sounds. Like it sounds. But they have a but really, they have a really, really unique, unique art style. Art style. I love, I their, love color their color palette. palette. Like it's a, like it's, it's a, kind of like a, a kind muted, of like a muted. Uh, uh, it's like I like when I see it. I see it. I think seventies colors. Colors. Usually, I usually I think that in negative way. Negative way. In this way, in this way, it's a very positive way. It's like a really cool. Really cool. Um. Um. I'm not exactly. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. But she has. She has a or they or they have a very um unique unique art style. Art style. Uh, and I've just been, I've just been, I've been very, very inspired. Very, very inspired it. It's very different. It's very, it's very, it's very, it's very much a very twist, much on, the a twist norm on the norm. And, um, and, um, I had a blast. I had a doing blast it, doing, doing the draw. Doing this, the draw. This, in your style. In your style. And, and I'm, yeah, I'm hoping yeah. they, hoping throw they another one throw up, another one up. It's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Fun. Fun. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, so two things. Two things. Firstly, firstly, we have a Twitter. We have a Twitter. And and yes, who yes, who the rain, the rains. Yes, yes, guys. So, so uh. Follow us, follow at us, and pod, and, pod. and, and please, talk please to me talk on there. To me on I'm, there. Lonely. I'm lonely, so, so <laughs> engage, engage, send with me, send stuff, me weird stuff, tweet at me, tweet at me, uh, give me ideas, uh, give me for ideas content, for content, all that kind of all stuff. That kind of stuff. And, just, and just let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. I figured it would I be figured really, really interesting, really interesting to take one of our, one of our social, forms media of social media and kind of put it in the hands of the games masters. So while I'm running Troika, it'll be me. It'll be me. Whomever picks up after me down the road, if we get into something else, they'll be taking they'll be taking over the reins. I want I want you our listeners to have a direct line to me so that we can engage in Shenanigans. shenanigans and get weirdness, and get going. weirdness going. And the other and thing, the other thing is, is you should absolutely, you should absolutely check out, check out uh, JTATP, JTATP on Instagram. On Instagram. He, he does a podcast, does a podcast called Stuff, called I, Stuff heard, I Heard, which is, which is fantastic. fantastic. Has been a guest, has been on, a guest on there twice. He and I are working, I are on, working on some more, uh, uh, some more some stuff, stuff for the stuff future. For hopefully, hopefully we can start doing some stuff doing again, some stuff again soon, soon. He just he went through, just like, went through some like some really major, major eye, surgery. eye surgery. He like had he, to get like, had his to get lens his replaced, lens replaced and, like, and like is is cornea, cornea and, like, all and this, like all this just like horrific, just horrific stuff. stuff. So he's finally, so he's back, finally at back at so work. Schedule, so his schedule is a little wonky. wonky. But his podcast, but his podcast is awesome. Is awesome. And he's just and a he's just a legitimately cool dude. Cool dude. So you should so you should absolutely, absolutely check him out. Check him out. And, and maybe check out maybe the check out the that I'm on there because, on there. because, because we had a lot of fun together. Yeah, including yeah, one that including specifically, one that specifically talks, talks a little bit about Sonic. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so. If you're interested in some more live digging, why, digging, 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 digging in the first place, the first place, place like, 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 check that one out. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. It's he's, really cool. He's like I said, he's like really said, down he's really down to earth. He's really fun. And he literally, we literally started started doing doing Sonic podcast. And I reached out. I reached out to him. I was like, Hey, dude, I'm starting this new project. Any chance I can jump on your podcast? Without hesitation, Without hesitation like, what day do you, like, what day you want to come over? Um, uh, so, <laughs> yeah. so it's a ton of it's fun. A ton of fun. Um, um, so yeah, I so think yeah, that's where we're going to leave, leave it for the night. Right into another episode, right, episode right, now. right now. So, so love all of love you. Love all you're of fantastic. you. You're fantastic. <laughs> later, later, nerds.